relief because you never know what happens with the launch. Uh, nowadays, uh, launches are getting more and more often uh, routine, but they are never really routine. So we're relieved. The space cab is very healthy. We got our signal. The solar rays are deployed. It's a good feeling. I'm sure. So tell me what the aim is then, because we just said in our introduction, this could be a, a decade long mission. Yes, we have, uh, first of all, a long uh, trip to our final orbit. Uh, it will take about two years to get there. Um, we need to use the planets uh, twice. We will use Venus and then we will use the Earth as well. In, in November 21, we'll be back to Earth in our trip. Uh, use the gravity of the planets to correct our orbit and get eventually on the right orbit around the sun. So it's a long journey of two years and then a long mission. We want to operate at least five years, probably more if the spacecraft is healthy. And uh, so it's going to be a, an exciting mission from the beginning, but very, very long. And what are you hoping to learn more about the sun? Uh, well, of course, uh, every new space mission uh, will add to the knowledge of the sun. And uh, this one in particular will have uh, a couple of uh, characteristics which are unique. Uh, for example, uh, through the special orbit that we have, we will reach uh, a relatively short distance from the sun, about uh, down to 42 million kilometers. We will be in a position to rotate around the sun almost at the same velocity as the rotation of the sun. This will allow our instruments to uh, follow some characteristics on the surface. It could be a sunspot, it could be a specific important uh, element to follow. Follow them over several days and uh, observe the evolution of that. Uh, this is the first uh, characteristic. The second one is the inclination of the orbit. We will gradually increase the inclination of the orbit and go and observe the polar regions of the sun which uh, from Earth and also from previous space missions were never observed. 